Hey Mo Norman fans, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I talk about Mo Norman single plane and all the things that Mo did that made him such a great ball striker. Today I want to talk to you about the rod and the claw. These are terms that Mo used and how he described the way his arms felt at the setup and it also describes some of the positions that he put his body in and there's a reason everything Mo did there was a reason behind everything that he did and I want you to know that you shouldn't take anything he did for granted it's kind of the reason he was the best ball striker that ever played the game so let's talk about lead arm rod position now you've seen me talk about the grip before I've talked about the address position but I want to get into a little bit of detail about this lead arm alignment that Mo called the rod and that's because this is the only straight line you have at the moment of impact. So when I swing a golf club and I come down to impact, the extension of the arm and the shaft are gonna be in a straight line. So this alignment of the club at impact determines whether you hit down on a golf ball, whether you hit up on a golf ball, whether you come across the golf ball. So this rod alignment is a very important dynamic and relationship at the moment of impact. If you watch Mo set up to a, a golf ball, you'll see that he not only had a dress placed the club in a, in a straight line here, but he placed it because of his tilt, he placed it behind the golf ball as well. Now, why did he do that? So you not only have the alignment of the arm, but you also have it placed well behind the ball. And that's because it's really the only way you can get the alignment of the arm. Because if I put the club behind the ball and I have tilt, notice that it's broken into, not, it's not in a rod alignment anymore. If I, if I put the club next to the ball, it opens up my shoulder. See that? Now I'm way open. And if you ask Mo why he put the club behind the ball like that, he said he would take it outside. So if people try to create this alignment and put it right next to the ball, the club will go outside into the backswing. So let's place this lead arm correctly into the rod position and I'll do a quick description of the claw which was Mo's description of his trail hand. So I'm going to put the arm into alignment but make sure I get your tilt. So there's your nice lead arm alignment and the only way you can really get that is if you have the proper tilt of the body. Now when I look down and this is what's important about some of the instruction we do at Graves Golf is you're seeing this from a face on camera angle so you're seeing me do this but you aren't seeing my perspective so let me give you my perspective of this. So when I set up correctly like this, my nose, my club, my head is looking directly at the club head. Now my eyes are looking at the ball, but I want to make sure the club head's beneath my nose. If the club is beneath my nose and the handle of the club is pointing up here towards my lead hip, we call the pivot point, I get this alignment because I cannot see this alignment from your angle. It doesn't look like it's lined up, but from the camera that you're seeing there, it's lined up. So, so that's what's hard about this is I'm telling you what my perspective and your perspective will be but if you don't have a camera on you you can't see it. So the club head beneath my nose, the, uh, the butt of the club pointing towards my hip, got my club in line up. Now there's Moe's rod position. Make sure you get your tilt correct. Now watch this. The tilt of the body, what happens to my trail hand, you see it? See how it's underneath? It's below it. When I bring this hand up it comes from an underneath position. Moe called this the claw. So I have the rod and the claw and when I bring that up and I overlap now I'm in a perfect single plane position and now I'm in a, a great position to take the club back and that allows me to position myself just like Mo nice alignment of the lead arm nice underhand position of the trail arm into a perfect single plane swing and those are the reasons Mo did what he did and why he was such a great ball striker he simplified impact Let's get